All right, so I traded my 501 for this new Frontier. Uh, it's a new Frontier lower with a PSA upper. The M lock, that's at least what the uh, guy told me. It didn't come with anything. It does have, well, that looks like a homemade buffer tube for the uh, blade. It's got a couple, but uh, not really too concerned with that. Probably just going to shoulder the buffer tube. And PSA bolts. Let's take it down and take a look at it. Motherfucker. New Frontier lower. Thing I noticed right away is there is a a set screw to hold the bolt release in. Uh, it does have uh, JP springs in it. Said this is a Rock River trigger. Still a single stage. Not a lot of grit, a little bit of creep. It's all right. Let's see. Buffer, buffer looks beat up, huh? I guess I'll have to get an offset buffer D10 for that one. Because it's kind of a Josh head one of the other places than just but anyway that happens when the buffer is rocking against that but somebody didn't seem to understand that the alignment of the upper and lower can uh, affect how far the buffer comes forward so if this was just a hair longer the buffer wouldn't go that far forward I wonder if they just make buffers, buffer like stickers, like a rubber, rubber buffer buffer. I don't know if they make that yet, but somebody should. I know they make those buffer shock buffs for other stuff. Or I could just fit a washer in here. Make this just a little bit longer. Stop that from chewing in there. Interesting deal. Obviously no gas blowback. Gas and pinch run, I'm sorry. This is gas blowback. So the bolt is totally different on It looks like that is held in with a roll pin. But I don't know, I think... I think alignment is important and such. Yeah, just get that all WD'd up. This, by the way, I use uh, WD with the silicone lubricant in it. Because there's plenty of firearm lubes with silicone lubricant in it. I also use graphite on some stuff and it's got the tube graphite and oil sorry put that out pretty good get that cleaned out everything cleaned off you also notice 
lack of the star log in the back here. Nice M lock rail on it. I think. I'm trying to think if I got M lock. If my. Uh, got some Magpul. And I'm trying to think if they're M lock. They might be M lock and not uh, key mod. And if they're M lock, I'm going to put that on here. We need to figure out some sights and deal for this. Pretty interesting mag release for the 9mm. It's different. It's all dedicated. There are no actual rails on that port. does also have an adjustment screw in the bottom there to adjust slop so I mean that's chewed up I, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's just from manufacturers differences and uh, differences in spec they're gonna be at different ends of the tolerance because while Colt does, Colt did say, okay, these are our tolerances, this is where I'm at. They don't say, like, how far in the tolerances, what end of the tolerances they would be at. So that's kind of a mystery to other companies. And some may be at the end, and some may, may be, you know, some may be high, some may be low, and that's going to cause something small like that. But there's uh, the new Frontier. Cheers, Glocks mags I almost think a Glock this is a Glock 19 mag I almost think a 26 mag could fit in here pretty cool um, yeah hoping to shoot this got the little KAK can on it that's pretty on there tight I mean that's the flaming pig but the, the generic flaming pig so all right thanks for watching guys uh, gonna get up next uh, gun market video for this week, 002. <coughs> Alright.